Welcome back to On Football. Today's review is on the Nike VaporJet 4 football gloves. This is the fourth edition in Nike's VaporJet line, and uh, this one is very different. So I unboxed these, and you guys have been waiting for this review, and uh, here I'm going to give you a detailed review. So of course, I'm going to give you an overview of the glove, then I'm going to get into the things I always talk about with football gloves, the grip, the ball feel, the durability, of course the price, and the ventilation. So without further ado, let's get into the review. If you're familiar with the Nike VaporJet line, you know it's one of Nike's skill gloves. It's one of their most popular skill gloves. It's not the base level like the Torque, but it is kind of higher up in their line. Uh, it's also the non-padded version of their skill glove. So they started with the VaporJet 1, which is a very light, thin glove, and through the years, it's progressed to almost a thicker glove, but still uh, very durable, still geared towards the skill player. So in this edition, they went all new. It's almost like they started from scratch with this glove, which I'll get into. Um, before that, I'm going to read a little bit about it. So uh, I covered some of this in the unboxing, but of course it says flexible mesh knuckles, adjustable closure, breathable knit construction, magnet grip palm. So that is actually the biggest difference this year is on the amount of mesh that they use in the glove. Uh, they really took strides to make this a super light glove or super lightweight feeling glove. So when you put it on, uh, there's a few things that are all new for this. One, it has a great fit, so it's really tight on your hand, but then it actually has a mesh back of hand that stretches. So if you look at this, you can see the stretch in the glove. There's no other uh, Nike glove in the VaporJet line that actually had this. So a lot of the Under Armour gloves, a lot of the Adidas gloves, um, they actually felt better. They got higher fit ratings by me just because they had this kind of compression fit to it. So now you've got mesh all along the side of the glove to make it a super lightweight glove. You can see the mesh here, 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 all through the sides of it at the bottom, and then this entire back of hand is mesh. And here the gusset is also mesh, and then you've got the full Magna Grip Palm, which has a different design for this year, which is really the, the skull. So I'm not sure if uh, you guys have seen this, but you kind of see the skull come together um, in this view of the glove. Now, you can see on this glove, it has a jock tag, and I actually just ripped it by putting these gloves on, which is kind of crazy. So, of course, I'll talk about the durability in a minute. Um, other things on it is the tab has, uh, or the cuff, has Nike on one side, and of course, a switch on the other for those that like to wear it with the cuff up. It has a normal Velcro strap that all the Vapor Jets have, and then it has a size on the outside. You can see extra large right there, and then I already mentioned the jock tag on the inside. So the good thing about this glove, of course, is the grip. It has the same magnet grip as all the other gloves, and it's super sticky, super durable. It's not like super grip of gloves of old, but still it is a high quality grip glove. Um, you know, the same rating as all the other gloves with the magnet grip. Gets a nine out of 10 for grip. Now the fit on this glove is also excellent. You know, I talked about the compression before. That's one reason why it's excellent. They use mesh all throughout the glove, except for the caps. So the caps have this uh, synthetic material on it. It's really to help keep the fingertips in place. But where you need it, you have the bend so you can actually move your hand. You know, they try to make it like a, a second skin, but you can actually flex your hands and you don't have that interruption, um, you know, by some of the past uh, additions of the glove in the VaporJet line. Uh, so in terms of fit, fitting true to size, close to your hand, um, this also gets a 9 out of 10. Now just as important in fit in a football gloves is the ball feel. So fit actually just refers to how it fits on your hand. Is it snug? Is it uh, you know true to size, big or smaller? Now when you talk about ball feel, ball feel is actually how well can you feel the ball through the glove, right? So if you have some of the thicker gloves, for example, you'd have a lineman glove, it's gonna have horrible ball feel because it's a super thick glove even though it fits you perfectly. These, because they're so thin, it's got the mesh on it, it's got the ability to flex your hand so when you actually grab that ball, you can actually feel it with your hands. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a glove as much as some of the other ones in Nike's line. So that's why this has incredible ball feel. I actually gave this an 8.5 out of 10 for ball feel. One of the other innovations that Nike made in this glove is the ventilation. So obviously it's got the full mesh back of hand that I keep talking about that's fully ventilated. But in addition to that, you can see all of the perforations on the outside of the glove that try to fully vent this glove. All through the fingertips as well as the thumb allow for a very ventilated glove. The cuff itself is actually somewhat ventilated so it absorbs sweat and has the feeling of ventilation. Um, so with that being said, this got a nine out of 10 for ventilation. Earlier in the video, you saw that I actually just ripped the jock tag off of it just by putting the gloves on. 
Other than that, this is a super durable glove. So uh, this it did actually get a high rating. I'm not gonna knock it down because of this. It's probably something I did or something that is just with this glove. But all the stitching is super strong. All the construction on the glove, there's nothing that seems out of place or just kind of thrown or sewn together. Um, so high quality glove with the durability. It still gets a nine out of 10. There's nothing on here that you know is gonna fade, rip, tear. Uh, even the sublexed uh, Nike symbol on here um, didn't fade. Even if it's abrasive, it's still going to stay. So that's why uh, it got such a high rating. Now, the only downfall about this glove is the actual style of it. Um, I don't rate for style, um, but if you look at this, it looks great in white, or it looks okay in white. It looks even better in black, but other than that, um, a lot of the colors that you see on the market right now are mostly white with some colorful fade in the middle. Um, I think it's by far the worst looking Nike glove. Um, but other than that, obviously it scored high across the board in the things I typically rate for. So these gloves do retail for $45, the same price as last year. Uh, but if you're looking for a great uh, fitting glove, high durability, high grip, high ball feel, this is probably gonna be one of the best options for you on the market. The positions that I would recommend this glove for, of course, are all skill positions that don't need as much protection on their hands. So if you're looking at uh, you know, speed backs that don't really want a padded glove, receivers, uh, DBs, uh, most of those, but some quarterbacks might even use it. Uh, but this is going to be a great glove if you're playing flag football, you're playing contact football. So other than that, that's kind of my review on these gloves. Be sure to check out my other glove unboxings, glove reviews, in the glove playlist. If you like my videos, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.